Hey guys, my name is Neil Diamant and I am the author of the book Prompt Engineering from Zero to Hero and today I'm going to show you um, a presentation that we will show in high level one concept that I'm teaching in my book. So have you ever encountered the frustration of asking an LLM something and then he it tells you a wrong answer and you don't know why and then you ask again and then you get another uh, answer. So this method is just for you and it's called self-consistency enhancing the AI reliability. So we're going to discover how to improve the AI responses through self-consistency in multiple reasoning paths. So what are we going to do is first uh, we want to think of it, at it as, uh, as if we're having a multiple experts approach and where we are asking several experts the same question and uh, then comparing the answers. Um, it's like generating multiple solutions through different reasoning approaches. And then we want to identify the most consistent answer across different methods. So like in every other um, chapter in my book, I'm beginning from importing or all the dependencies, all the libraries that we need, and initializing the, the LLM model. That's just a snippet, so you can uh, have a clue how it looks like. Then we want to generate multiple reasoning paths. So we want to number each path, and then we want to request the AI for uniqueness and uh, then the model responds with different strategies for the same problem. So for example, if we were dealing with a math uh, problem, we could get uh, several different approaches, for example, uh, a direct calculation or working backwards or breaking down um, the problem into uh, smaller manageable parts. Then we want to collect the uh, reasoning approaches to analyze um, the consistency by comparing the solutions for agreement and uh, then we want to determine who is the most reliable solution. So um, we want to check the logical consistency. Uh, we are evaluating if the reasoning follows sound logic principles. We want to check the factual accuracy and we want to check if there is any bias uh, in the solution. And this uh, approach is actually good for several practical applications. Those are just for uh, just some examples. It's good for mathematical problems, for analytical tasks, and for fact checking. So just so you have uh, a look of how the book looks like, this is the chapter. It begins with uh, overview, with some motivation. Then it shows you the code of setting up the environment then generating multiple reasoning paths, exactly how the code looks like. I explain every function and I give motivation, how it works, why, why we need it, breaking down everything into several uh, bullets. And here we can see the full chronological uh, solution, putting it all together. And at the end of each chapter, you see that you have several exercises and a conclusion at the end.